Doesn't two go into both of them? So, Makai, I'm going to give you full credit. You got the right number. Most people can't even get that far, so good job. Uh, isn't eight two times four? Isn't six two times three? And here's how you reduce. If you get a two on the top, two on the bottom, they cancel out. What is my final answer? Four over three is the correct answer for that problem. Now, let's talk about how he got that. Because that's the hard part for kids getting that, and then the reducing is not that hard. Let's go back to one half plus five over six. What do we have to have to add fractions? There's something that has to we have to add. Victor, what do you think? No, no. There's no rule that ever says that. You can find that out there. I got a bigger number on top. Little number on bottom, and that is correct. We're going to leave it like that. Good. It's got to have a common denominator. That means the number on the bottom has to be the same. same. Well, that's a six. Can we turn that into a six? Yeah, we can. How? Times it by three. Now, we got to multiply the top times three. Now, I got a question. Why? And don't start with, because you got to do the same thing to the top as you do to the bottom. That's what Stadler told y'all or your fifth grade teacher. I don't know who, but that's the rule. But I want to know, why is the rule a rule? Do you know why? Or you were going to say, because you got to do the top. <laughs> You're just memorizing the rule, which is fine, but you don't understand it. Same point. Does anybody know why we have to do the same thing to the top as we do to the bottom? You should have stopped your fifth grade teacher and said, why? Okay. So it's the correct proportions. Okay, you're getting there. Yes. Okay, I'm going to help. Yes. Same denominator as the other fraction. Yeah, but that's just going to give me a six. I want to know why do I have to do three on the bottom, three on the top? Ready? It still equals a half. It still equals a half. And watch this. What's three divided by three? One. Let's say Ryan has $20 in his wallet, and I multiply that times one. How much does he still have? What if William's got a 50? If I multiply that times one, what does he still get? Does it matter if we multiply something by one? Have we changed it? No. No. So look. You are allowed to multiply any fraction by any number you would like as long as you do the same thing to the bottom as you do to the top because you're really multiplying by one. one. So you can multiply it by whatever. Now you're going to change the way it looks. It's going to look different now, but it's still going to be the same. He said proportion, which I understood. And I don't know, what did you say? I forgot. No, no. Yeah. So... This is now going to look like, what's three times one? Three. What's three times two? Six. It looks different, but it's still the same fraction as one half. Are you with me? Three. Now we can mess with it because we need the numbers on the bottom to be the same number before we can do anything else. All right, now are y'all starting to see how Micaiah got eight over six? Mm. Look at the top numbers. What's yeah. three plus five? Eight. Eight. Now, do I do anything to the bottom? No. Leave it alone. There's how Micaiah got 8 over 6. Does that make sense? Very nice, Micaiah. Good. All right, number 2. Let's go on to reducing. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you've never liked reducing, you don't know the multiplication chart. Because if you know the multiplication chart, reducing is actually super easy, super simple. I'm about to prove it to you. Eli, tell us how, what do you think we can do? Okay, good. Do y'all agree that we can divide both these numbers by eight? Now, I have found, Eli, that you understand that fine. Not everybody will understand that. Can I explain it a little better? Because I know you know what you're doing. Okay, good. Give me some numbers that multiply together to make 16. Four times four? That would have probably been the first one I thought of. What else? Eight times two. Eight times two. Are you with me? 
Okay. Give me some numbers that multiply together and make 64. Eight times eight. Eight times eight would have probably been the first one I thought of as well. Are you with me? The key to reducing is we want to have the same number on the bottom as we have on the top. Are you with me? Don't you see an eight on both the bottom and the top? No. Did y'all hear Eli say both of them can be divided by two, by eight? Yes. Sir. Are you with? That's what he's talking about here. That means there's an eight on the top and eight on the bottom. And guess what? Eight divided by eight is? Mm. Is gone. What is left? Two, and eight. two on top, eight on bottom. Now that can be Simplified. Simplified again. What number goes into two and eight? Two. Two. two does. Two times one, two times four. Cancel out the twos because that turns into one. What's my final answer? One fourth. Boy, fractions are hard. Not really. Questions? Let's keep going. Somebody tell me how we multiply fractions. Why? Straight across, top times top. What's three times two? Six. What's seven times five? Thirty-five. Is there a number that goes into six and thirty-five? Yes. Here's how I know. Thirty-five is only five times seven. Only. And thirty-five times one. Yeah. Five doesn't go into six. Seven doesn't go into six. So this one will not reduce in any way. Does that make sense? Thank you. All right, number four. Who can help me with number four? So, so eight, five times three. Okay, well, hang on. I want to do something before I do that. But yes, we will do five times three in a minute. What do I need to make that? I need to make it look just like that. How do I make it a fraction? Good. You all agree with Shelby? Yes. All right. Now, Shelby, tell me where to go. 7, 5 times 3. 15. Over. 32 times 1. Which is 2. Yeah. All right. Guess what? You no longer have to convert that to 7 and a half. You are now allowed to leave it improper as 15 over 2. Are you with me? Now that we're getting close to high school level math, in high school we could care less that the number on top is bigger than the bottom. <coughs> Fifth grade, they cared a lot about that. And they made you change it to one and one third, seven and one half. Are you with me? We don't care about that anymore. Fractions are actually better than decimals. I'll prove that to you later. Are you with me? So hold on. If you're wondering why are fractions better, you should be wondering why. Fractions are better than decimals. I'll prove it to you later. Questions? All right. Um, 